everyone. Uh, so I am getting some help with my camera so I can have one of the great big dishes behind me. They're actually not, uh, they're 12 meter dishes, not the largest dishes out there, but they are extremely accurate, extremely uh, sophisticated dishes with great pointing accuracy. Uh, the Alma telescopes are, there's, I don't know if you can see the compact array is off to my right. Those are the seven meter dishes from the East Asia collaborators. Uh, I'm really freaking excited to be here. I never thought I'd get to see the Alma site. I'm uh, out of breath. Uh, it's a combination of the, the altitude and being really excited. As, as you guys know, I jump up and down a lot, so eh, you know, it happens. Uh, I've got uh, some more of the dishes behind me. These are the 12 meter dishes. Uh, they have reflective aluminum surfaces, which they've, uh, as it was described to us, they're somewhat diffuse so that uh, it's not actually blindingly reflective. Uh, you don't want to focus all that sun energy uh, here at 16,000 feet. I need to take a breath again. Whew. Um, <laughs> Um, onto your onto the sub reflector uh, where it could um, you know make things nasty make things warm up and expand and do all kinds of crazy things um, we just saw the correlator building the correlator which I'd seen in bits oh they're moving yay they're moving <laughs> What's its name? Oh, that's a good question. Jen. Jen? Jen. Jen the yeah. oxygen tube? Jen the oxygen. Excellent. <laughs> this is See? Jen the oxygen, my best friend in the whole wide world. You can't uh, make clever jokes at high altitude because I won't get it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. That's right. I'm the one on oxygen. <laughs> Yay! So I've never had to be on oxygen before. Um, and here I am. So, uh, but now it has made it possible for me to see Alma in all its glory. It's good. It's, it's good. fantastic. So 54 Pleasure. telescopes in the array right now. I mean, they're not itty bitties. The itty bitties are Last like satellite Last time I was dishes. here, they were not here, and they. Oh are, really? Yeah, they were not in yet. They were wow. all being built uh, down in the camp. Now, are they awesome. pretty much going to stay on those pads? Yes, they will stay there. They provide the high sensitivity part. Is that? Hello. No, Radio much. astronomy, BFS. Okay. Okay. <laughs> are we rolling? I'll we are up. not. My, yeah. Now we are. Three. I will run if they start moving. Just to warn you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Because I can't get I'll, the time. And you'll grab the, your camera back from me. Telescopes. Are okay, no, so radio astronomers in paradise. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is this is fantasy land. This is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Of course, they've got gates around them, so I can't run up and hug them. But which is yeah. unfortunate because I've totally hugged a radio telescope before. Yeah, I have a list. Yes. And yes. You, Tanya, you've been here before. Yes. I was here when there were only about seven antennas in the array. Oh, and so they were just the 12 meters. There were no European antennas at all. Okay. And so now this is a completely different array. This is, you know, not the array from two years ago. Yeah. So I'm loving the fact that all of us are here. The European antennas, all the Japanese antennas, even the little baby ones, <laughs> which are my absolute... Ooh, I'm, I can't say that. Yeah, I love them. They're really great. <laughs> and of course, the mighty vertex antennas, which yeah. have been holding up Alma for a while. So. Yes. Fantastic. But your first time up here, so it comes off the bucket list. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I uh, have just loved being at radio telescopes, so working at them. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're moving! Bye. Hang on! <laughs> it's, uh, I feel better than the numbers indicate. That's I think. good. What's my name? <laughs> What's the name of the movie? That's one word. <laughs> uh, the plate. Thing. The plate. The plate. The, yeah. the thing with the thing in the sky. Thank you. <laughs>
sure if that's it. <laughs> Look at that! You think he is? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Different angles. No! Well, yeah, they are. They are. Look at that. He's gonna make it. Oh yeah! That is a smoother parking job than I have ever ever seen. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to. Yeah, you're right. He's not gonna make it. Almost. He's probably thinking. Damn! No, he's looking so. How, do you know how high up they could take it? Well, I guess it goes, I assume it goes sort of to the end of the diagonal. Oh yeah. Part, I don't know if it goes all the way. Four of us. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Well, we have a couple of visitors from North American journals to well, this, this is a, basically a, a simulation of a calibration process where the, uh, the arm is uh, going to the observing band. It plays one of the well-known temperature nodes and then changes to the other. So the scientist can make a process to, to estimate the, the noise in the electronics and then it goes away to continue the, the, the observation. Mama! It's almost done! Roses on the <laughs> 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 I gotta say that. Can you drink it? Can. 